I got a solar panel here and you can see this wire runs here I got a solar panel in the kitchen so what I'm doing today so I'm preparing for thunderstorms or rain or any reason the power could go out I'm charging this 12 volt battery with two solar panels at 16 volts and uh, 0.4 amps up to 12 volts on the battery these are two 12 volt batteries and their maximum power is 12 volts they put out about seven amp hours um, and then I have a large 35 amp hour that would take a long time to charge but this was dead at zero it took all day to charge this battery uh, with two solar panels at 0.4 amps which is almost half an amp uh, 16 volts and they're in the window as you can see so it took it took about all day from early this morning um, when sun when the sun cracked open uh, when the sunny side eggs were up uh, basically uh, it took all day to charge it's just now at 11.96 volts almost completely full from zero the battery was completely dead it had absolutely no voltage whatsoever so now it's charged I don't know if it's going to hold a charge or not but it's mostly charged now so this battery would be about the same because it's the same battery this battery down here would probably take three days to charge from from zero maybe four so that'd be good and then you could run uh, like your lights your power tools your cell phone use a, this power inverter right here to uh, run a laptop or a small lamp uh, you could use it to run you could charge multiple batteries and you could even arc weld metal or if you had multiple batteries you could run quite a bit of uh, current in series and parallel but it wouldn't be consecutive per 24 hours you would have to do it every so many days uh, you could use these small batteries to run for quite a while on small devices and power tools such as, our, such as these right here and it's, it's a good idea to have hand tools as much as possible uh, but just in case something goes wrong hand tools are number one uh, and then you know you gotta have a lot of knowledge as well physics, chemistry, biology, medicine you know everything uh, and you know you just go from there as many resources as you can get in case of a disaster is quite quite good so uh that's very much it. Thanks for watching.